What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mikey. You're back in Mikey's basement. Let's do this thing. All right, everybody. Let us congratulate BTS for their Grammy nomination. Yes. Yes, BTS has a Grammy nomination for Best Recording Packaging. Man, like even though it's just recording packaging or whatever, that BTS has a Grammy nomination and potentially a grant. They could win a Grammy, dude. That's huge. That's a huge step for Korean the Korean music industry in general, dude. This is massive. Seriously, because like just the, the packaging of the albums goes with the overall concept of like you know the album, like the whole the whole group and everything. It's it's a bigger part. Than a lot of people I've been seeing on Twitter, like nitpicking and everything. Like, oh, uh, dude, this is a Grammy nomination. <laughs> Let's get hyped. We gotta be hyped. Everyone celebrate for real, because this is this is dope. So yeah, like I wanted to celebrate BTS. So uh Army is always putting together these great edits. Today we got one from uh, Park Mochi, and this is uh BTS showing their hidden talents, or when BTS shows their hidden talents. Yes, Park Mochi, thank you for this edit. Let's check it out and let, let us all just while we're watching this, remember, this is a Grammy-nominated group now. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, I, I... Dude, I've actually seen this, dude. V can hold his breath for something like three minutes. He's like, I've been down there for like two minutes and 40 seconds. Yeah, how long was it? <laughs> Oh, Man, 27. Wow. He goes back. Dude, no, 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 no. I swear to God, he goes back and he's like, I've been down there for like two and a half minutes. Or maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm just adding to it. Like, the fish was this big. <laughs> you know, like exaggerating, added to it. But that's crazy, though. It's still a minute and 27 seconds. Try and hold your breath, like, for a minute and 27 seconds, dude. After, like, 30 seconds, you're like, ugh, ugh. I know because I tried it when I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> An elephant on your body. Oh, <laughs> oh man. I got a little elephant right here. Ooh, a little elephant. Can you see it? Oh, hello. <laughs> That's for you, V. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I got a bunch of freckles all over me. Oh, that's creepy. It's <laughs> creepy. Jen, you're scary. Oh, was that baby beast? <laughs> I was like, what's so funny about him dancing like that? And then I didn't even notice he had heels on, bro. <laughs> He's really good at that. <laughs> Is there anything they can't do? Oh, yeah, oh, dude, I got, I got like monkey like feet. I could probably do that. Good job. Oh. This is Jimmy oh, though. Yeah. Dude is, <laughs> dude is a classically trained dancer. Uh, oh yeah, do the John Claude Van Damme. Uh, oh. Yeah, dude, let's go. You gotta do the pose too. Uh, John Claude Van Damme. Uh, <laughs> Jim and Van Damme. <laughs> Jim and Claude Van Damme. <laughs> it's Jim and Claude Van Damme. <laughs> John Claude Van Damme is a Belgian like martial arts guy back in the 80s and early 90s. If you don't know. <laughs> Let's go. He was pretty not bad at that. 
Yeah, I've seen him flick it around and hold it like that forever. Oh wow, man, that's cool. Back in the day, used to be a baller. Oh wow. <laughs> That's safe. <laughs> I love this clip. It looks so weird. He looks like like the ring or something. Or exorcist. It is, yeah, like exorcist. <laughs> bon voyage. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, he's going right on his face, isn't he? Whoa! No way. I've tried that before. And I, boom. I couldn't even stand up. That's crazy. Good job. Seriously, I've tried that before, and like every time, man, you either like you never really get it up, or you just go whoop right face first. <laughs> Good job. Ooh, he's got some chops. Oh, I, I thought he was about to be like <laughs> That'd be tight. Is there, is there any clip like that? Of him like, oh Let's go, Jimin. Yeah, I want to see a clip of Suga just jamming out on the drums. It looks like he could play. He can make beats really good, so. I used to make logos like that all the time. Drawing people stuff. Oh wow, he's doing a really good job. Oh, is that little RJ over there? <laughs> yeah, on the left side. I wonder who draw who drew that. <laughs> you know that was Jin for sure. Or no, maybe it's a dog. No, it looks like RJ to me. But he's thinking about a bone though. It's like. Sub-Vita-Haro-Tuniko Whoa. Let's go. Ooh, I really like his, his shirt. The button up he's got on. Oh. Oh, not bad. Whoa. Whoa. 
Not bad. I'm decent at darts. Nice. I was literally just talking about this video there. Like, earlier. Like an hour ago. It's my favorite BTS video. <laughs> Make that face! <laughs> I can't even do it. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I seriously love that part too. That's like, that's my favorite BTS video. That little section right there too. And they're all running in that like museum looking place. And then he kisses the statue and everything. Mm. Sugar, let's go. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I like his little pink sweatsuit. <laughs> you see him take off that jacket. God, that's such a good video. Oh, he got it, dude. Hold on. <laughs> the neck breaker, man. <laughs> you gotta hit that 90 degree angle. <laughs> Look at the 90 degree angle on that, man. It's perfect. Oh. <laughs> God. I can't even do that, man. Oh. Go. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> Little baby John Cook, let's go! <laughs> oh You're crazy, bruh. Oh, that was pretty good. I love uh, Jungkook's brother's Twitter. Nice. Good bottle flip. Yeah, Jungkook's brother has got a really great uh, Instagram and stuff that he does all this cool artwork, art artwork of, of like BTS and stuff. <laughs> Dude, that's my favorite clip, man. Him freaking out about the stingrays. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Mm, summer package. I remember that. Good time. This is a good video. Yes, Park Moshi. Thank you very much for this. Hold up. Let's, I want to watch this again. Watch Jin. Look at this. That's. I'm. See, I'm probably blown away by that one the most. That, that was the clip that blew me away the most. Seriously, that's impressive. That's really impressive. Is there nothing BTS can't do? <laughs> that and the <laughs> V dancing with high heels. <laughs> All right, Grammy nominated group BTS. Let's go. <laughs> Good luck, boys. I'm sure you guys are going to do well because 
if there is anything I I say about uh, any K-pop album I bought is that the packaging is always super dope. Like American albums, man, you literally get it. It's like a plastic case and it's got the artwork in it. And then sometimes you might get a sleeve with lyrics in it. Most times you don't. And it's just, it's that's it. It's just a plastic case and the CD with the artwork on the outside. And then you get something like, like this. I know this isn't tier, this is answer though, but like, man, look at this. Dude, it's like holographic and stuff. Bam, you open it up, it's a book. Ow, my, my photo cards! <laughs> look, you get stickers, all this stuff, man. Photo cards, or that's not it. I got my RM over here somewhere. Where's my RM? Yeah, photo cards. Boom. I think really, this is a, this is gonna be very interesting because if anything, I think like the like the Korean music industry can show the American music industry a thing or two about like proper presentation and stuff like that with their albums because I think. It's ridiculous. Like, I, I don't like buying albums anymore. But K-pop albums, I like buying K-pop albums because I feel like I'm getting, like, you know, some bang for my buck. I'm actually getting, like, some type of product and anything, everything, you know? Like, I don't know. This is going to be a collector's item, man. I like collecting stuff. As you can see, I like, I have all types of stuff I like collecting. So I know, like, in, like, five years, ten years down the road, I'm going to look at this and I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm going to think fondly about this and everything, you know? It's like, look at that. Like that's that's high quality, man. This is a big book. It's thick. It's super thick. <laughs> yeah. So I have I have very high hopes for uh, BTS, and not only like high hopes. I think they are gonna win this, and it's gonna be very interesting when they do. This is their foot in the door then for the Grammys and everything. And I, oh god, this is exciting. 2018 was the year of BTS, and like 2019, we're gonna get to see like where they get to go with it. <laughs> and I'm hyped. I'm so hyped. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Please like and subscribe. You had a good time. More K-pop content coming every day. I got you covered. Yes. Be excited about those Grammys. Like seriously, everything I just talked about. Think about that. Think really think about the implications of what's happening here, man. It's, it's big and it's awesome. <laughs> I love it. All right. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you next time. All right. Bye.